Monday forecast. Michelle joining us now with more on some snow that fell overnight and a look ahead as the kids get ready to head back to school today. Yeah, not bad today and tomorrow, Patrick. We're back to dry skies. Again, a little bit of snow last night, enough to maybe create some slippery spots and uh, just coat all the surfaces, especially those untreated. So the radar across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts been pretty dry over the last five hours. So expecting the main roads to be fine probably already treated. Here's what fell though in the highest total six to even 12 inches of snow. Worcester points north and west around the Boston area under two inches. Taunton inch and a half north Foster an inch. Bristol picked up about an inch of snow as well. And T of Green reporting three tenths of an inch of snowfall up through midnight of last night. In terms of what to expect in the next two days, dry skies. We'll get back to partial sunshine. We do have a slow moving system on the way midweek. Timing wise may start us off with a little bit of a messy mix early Wednesday morning before changing over to rain and looking ahead to the first few days of March. At least I don't see any big warm ups in store for us here. Live city cam in Providence. We are going to make it up to seasonable highs today, upper 30s to lower 40s. This is the view from city cam, so still a lot of clouds overhead. 32 in Providence winds pretty light there from the north northwest at 5, giving us a wind chill of 27. Drier wind for us today will be out of the north. It'll bring down these humidity levels, though still running high 88% right now. Taunton still below freezing, similar in Newport at 31. Wind chill there running at about 25 degrees in New Bedford at 29. So some slick spots early this morning. That's why I have the caution sign up about 28 to 33. Here's the future cast through the rest of the daytime. And again, those clouds try to clear up partly sunny afternoon at 2 o'clock. No rain or snow, and that'll send us into a dry evening tonight as the temperatures drop. We'll see some refreezing, but any damp surfaces. 630 tomorrow morning, we start off with sunshine. Pretty nice Tuesday on the way for us back to the low 40s. And then we cloud up by late in the day and evening. This is 5 o'clock. Dry skies through the early part of the night Tuesday, and then our next weather system starts to push in. So by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, 6 o'clock Wednesday morning, See in the timestamp here, the blue representing snowfall. The green is rain. We start off with a wintry mix, but that rain snow line lifts up to our north and it changes into a pretty good soaking for us with rainfall through Wednesday and again on Thursday. 41 for the afternoon high today in Newport and in Charlestown. Again, these are all seasonable highs. We should break into more of a sun and cloud mixture for the afternoon, upper 30s to around 40. Burrowville, Johnston, clouds, some sunshine, dry skies. New Bedford to Fall River, both coming in at about 42 degrees. Seven day future cast down into the 20s overnight tonight and then 43 for your high on Tuesday. Wednesday, again, that rain moving in. Gusty winds too in the afternoon and evening. So mix early, changing to rain. Could pick up a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. I have showers lingering on Thursday, just kind of a damp and raw day Thursday. Cloudy skies, lingering rain showers may shift back over to some snow showers or even some light sleep Thursday evening and night and lingering into Friday. Have the weekend dry right now. Highs in the upper 30s. You can get the latest future cast any time of day on our website WPRI.com.